Well, yeah, it's pretty incredible when Marlin Man shows up two times in one week. And you were here on Monday night. Now you're back for another one. What brings you to Kansas City so often this week? I feel like they've adopted me. I feel like I was homeless as a Marlins fan, and they adopted me, and here I am. You know, you and I were talking earlier today about this, the St. Louis-Kansas City rivalry, and you talk about how great of a baseball town this truly is. Tell us about your experiences here and what you've seen and, and kind of done in Kansas City. Well, one of the things I think people need to know is they have the number one tailgating in all of Major League Baseball. It's not even close. And I haven't seen a Chiefs game yet, but I was told today it's more than this. I'm just blown away walking around and seeing car shows, tailgate parties, families who don't know each other offering food and drinks to families. It's absolutely incredible. You know, compare it to St. Louis, because you've been there as well. And St. Louis fancies themselves as the best baseball fans in America, but you come here, it's pretty special. Your fans are better. The only thing St. Louis has is a much longer tradition of winning. And across the street, that park where they have the nightclubs, where everybody goes and hangs out. But the fans don't mingle and get to meet strangers. One of the things I've been saying a lot is we go to a baseball game as strangers. We go home as friends and followers. Okay? That's definitely true here. Every time I come here, I make a thousand new friends and followers. St. Louis, that doesn't happen. Now, you, you're here again, obviously, twice in one week to watch these Royals play. What do you think of the team? I think that last year at the end of the World Series, people said, oh, they're a one-time flash like the Marlins, they're done. And I said, I don't know about that. That's a whole team. They have pitching, they have relieving, they have batting, and I think they'll be back next year. And I feel so happy you guys have vindicated me. And I tell everybody that this year's Royals, I see them the Pirates. I see the Pirates like this year's Royals. What did you think of that, that game you were first You were at the wild card game, right? Was that not the yes. first game you were at? What did yes. you think of that experience? Yes. Um, I actually came back on purpose after the wild card, and I went to the uh, Baltimore Orioles series too. I wanted to say that I was there when some team had won every game, and you guys had not lost the game. And then I really, really, really wanted you to win game six because that would have meant it would have been a game seven. And in game seven, I was kind of a toss-up, and in the end of the game, I wanted you guys to come through because I don't know if you haven't seen it yet, the greatest feeling in sports is to win a game seven at home. And the Kansas City would have seen that. And it wouldn't have been rioting here. They'd have been hugging and kissing each other, not turning over cars and burning them like other cities do. There he is, Marlon Mann, the most famous fan right now in professional sports at Kauffman Stadium for the second time this week. Let's hope October is huge so we see a lot more of him. Keisha, back to you guys.